We now want to think about the neurological compensations. Let's think about what's happening here. And we want to begin this story down in the aorta. So here we have the arch of the aorta. And coming off that we have, here we have a carotid artery, a common carotid artery. And the left common carotid artery branches straight off the aorta. And then of course the aorta carries on taking blood down to the rest of the body. So here we have the common carotid arteries. And these are the big arteries you can feel pulsating in your neck. Now the common carotid artery divides into two. There's the external carotid artery goes off around there. And then the internal carotid artery, the first part of it, is a little wider. And it's the same on this side, there's a widened area. There's also an external carotid artery on that side. So there's a widened area here at the start of the internal carotid artery. And of course the internal carotid arteries here are taking blood straight through the base of the skull into the brain. So what we have in the aorta to some extent, and to a larger extent around the carotid sinus at the start of the carotid artery, are baroreceptors. Baroreceptors. Baro means pressure, as in barometer. So there are pressure receptors here. And they detect the pressure of the blood going through the carotid arteries as it goes up into the, the brain. And of course, further up here, we have the brain stem. We have the medulla oblongata. Now, if the blood pressure starts to drop, what happens is that the drop in blood pressure is detected by these baroreceptors, and the baroreceptors send impulses up in sensory nerves up to the medulla oblongata, up to the brain stem. And it's the same on the other side. So there's nerves here going up, sensory nerves going up to the brain stem, the medulla oblongata. And there's also sensory nerves go all the way up from the arch of the aorta, again up to the medulla oblongata. Now, <clears throat> blood pressure starts to drop. That's detected by the baroreceptors. They send sensory nerve impulses up to the medulla oblongata. And of course, in the medulla oblongata of the brain stem, there are things like the vasomotor centre, the cardiac centre, the respiratory centre. The vasomotor centre controls vasomotor tone all over the body. The cardiac centre, of course, is controlling the heart. Now, if the blood pressure here drops, that's detected by the sensory nerves. The sensory nerves send messages to the medulla oblongata saying the blood pressure is dropping. Then if that happens, the medulla oblongata sends out more sympathetic impulses and less parasympathetic impulses. And the sympathetic impulses are going to cause vasoconstriction, the blood vessels are going to become narrower, which is going to increase peripheral resistance. And it also is going to act on the heart. And it's going to act on the heart to increase cardiac output. And if the blood volume is low and the stroke volume cannot be increased, then the heart rate will be increased. So if the blood pressure drops, messages go to the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata sends out messages to the blood vessels all around the body, vasoconstrict. Messages to the heart, increase cardiac output, increase rate. So that's going to increase blood pressure by increasing peripheral resistance. And the effect on the heart will increase blood pressure by increasing cardiac output. And at the same time, sympathetic nerve impulses go to the kidney, which increases the amount of renin that's produced. 
and sympathetic impulses also go to the adrenal medulla, the inside part of the adrenal gland, and it stimulates that to produce the catecholamines. That's the adrenaline and the noradrenaline, or the epinephrine and the norepinephrine. So the sympathetic outflow is actually affecting the blood vessels and heart directly, but it's also causing more adrenaline and more renin. The renin, of course, is going to stimulate the angiotensin system to increase blood pressure and the other effects that we noted already. And the adrenaline is going to, the adrenaline and the noradrenaline are going to increase heart rate and cause peripheral vasoconstriction as well. So the neurological compensation based on the barrow receptors, sensory nerves going to the medulla oblongata, medulla oblongata responding by increasing sympathetic outflow and decreasing parasympathetic outflow to initiate the physiological compensatory mechanisms.